Hello everyone in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about what is self amplifying or self replicating RNA as the name suggests self replicating okay self replicating means that this RNA replicates on its own so what is it actually how actually does replicates so first I'm gonna talk to you about you know two kinds of RNA that is self replicating RNA or self replicating RNA or self amplifying RNA self replicating RNA is also called self amplifying RNA and messenger RNA okay first I'm gonna give you two examples okay let's say that this here is the self replicating RNA and this here is the messenger RNA so what is the difference in between these two in the self replicating RNA in addition to the coding sequence of our gene of interest we also have the non-structural uh, sequences of non-structural protein of the viruses especially alpha viruses okay for example non-structural protein 1 to non-structural protein 4 so these are the sequences of our from from the alpha viruses that form the replicates okay this form the replicates or replication mas machinery and so these replicates or replication machinery actually helps in the replication of our transgene okay this is our transgene or gene of interest okay so basically in messenger RNA we just have our coding sequence 5 prime and 3 prime UDRs that's, that's it here we don't have any these non-structural proteins from the viruses whereas in self-replicating RNA uh, we also put these non-structural proteins, non-structural uh, uh, protein sequences, um, sequences encoding for the non-structural proteins from alpha viruses to form the replicase or the replication machinery. And when inside the cell, this this replicase or replication machinery replicates our transgene. Okay, this replicates our transgene. So here it is shown, for example, one example is here we have non-structural protein uh, sequences encoding for non-structural protein 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the promoter sequence and this is our transgene sequence, okay? This is our gene of interest. This transgene sequence is our gene of interest, okay? This is our gene of interest, right? These sequences, uh, these sequences function as the replication machinery and therefore they replicate this transgene when inside the cell. The detail mechanism I'll, ex I'll, I'll explain later. So how these self-replicating RNA or self-amplifying RNA, how it replicates uh, our um, gene of interest and produces more protein. So how it does here is our self-replicating RNA okay this is our self-replicating RNA so this self-replicating RNA goes inside the cell and in the cell this self-replicating or self-amplifying RNA it engages with the ribosome because this uh, ribosome is the one that does the protein production right so ribosome is the machinery in the cytoplasm of the cell that does the protein production from our RNA so this self-amplifying RNA it engages with the ribosome so here the engagement happens so then what happens this self-replicating RNA is translated you know because this self-replicating RNA has two things in this this part is for the replicase machinery replicase machinery and this part is for our transgene or our, of our gene of interest okay gene of interest so uh, the replicase machine so what happens is that okay self replicating RNA it goes inside the cell and in the cell it engages with the ribosome and after the engagement with the of the ribosome because this self replicating RNA or self amplifying RNA it has two parts replicase machinery and also our uh, uh, sequences encoding for our gene of interest so then our protein target protein will be translated okay so from this part okay let's say this is this part our tra tra target protein is translated and from the remaining part uh, because we also have the sequences for replicates machi machinery this replicates protein is translated 
okay so first this is very important guys our self amplifying RNA enters inside the cell and in the cell it engages with the ribosome and the ribosome translates uh, the, the, from from the sequence from the self replicating RNA so our self amplifying RNA our target protein is translated because we have the sequences for that and replicase machinery is also translated because we have the sequence for that and what we need for the replication as you know we need these uh, replicates replication mach machine machinery for the replication so when this replic replicase is translated then what happens this replicase machinery it engages with our self-replicating RNA because we have here again it engages with our self-replicating RNA so replication machinery engages with our self-replicating RNA or self-amplifying RNA and it then wh what happens then self-amplifying RNA is replicated okay self-amplifying RNA is replicated as, as shown here so when we have more self-amplifying RNA and that will lead to the more uh, production of uh, the, the our our target protein okay more production of our target protein so I'll explain once again uh, so in self replicating uh, so self replicating or self amplifying RNA so how they function so self amplifying RNA uh, they have the sequences for replication machinery and also for our gene of interest they enter in the cell and inside the cell this self-amplifying RNA engages with the ribosome first and from that our target protein is translated and replication machinery is translated and this replicates machinery replicates machinery or uh, replicates what it does it again engages with our self-amplifying RNA and then what happens the replicate replication of self-amplifying RNA happens and from that when self-amplifying RNA is replicated uh, so from more self amplifying RNA is produced and from more self self amplifying RNA uh, we get more protein okay so more protein of our target sequence right so more protein is translated so and so like I explained before the self amplifying RNA is a type of RNA that has many structural similarities to messenger RNA it is linear single stranded RNA molecule that is synthesized with 5 prime calf 3 prime polyethyl and 5 prime and 3 prime untranslated regions so what is the difference between self amplifying RNA and messenger RNA is that self amplifying RNA are larger molecule like I explained before you know they have both uh, sequences for replicase machinery and also for our target gene right target gene and this here is the uh, this is the replicase machinery okay replicase machinery so they are much larger uh, s sequences because they have the sequences that encode for extra proteins in addition to uh, the gene of interest and these four extra proteins they are non-structural proteins usually derived from these non-structural proteins then you may ask okay uh, what are, from where these uh, which non-structural protein sequences which non-structural proteins uh, sequences uh, sequences encoding for which non structural proteins should be used and those sequences are actually derived from alpha viruses that include a replicase the replicase enables the amplification of original standard of RNA molecule upon delivery into the cell so this replicase functions when it's inside the cells uh, it's it gets translated and then after translation it does the amplification of original strand of RNA as I explained earlier and this actually leads to higher amount of protein expression and thus a minimum dose of RNA is required because what is the advantage of using self amplifying RNA so because we have we use one self, uh, self amplifying RNA and it, it, it is amplified and we get a lot of protein we get a lot of protein right this is RNA and this is protein we get a lot of protein so um, that means that we need low dose this is a very very big advantage so we, we, we with the low dose of self amplifying RNA okay low dose of self amplifying RNA we can achieve higher amount of protein expression right so then the next thing is the self amplifying constructs they are used for gene delivery or vaccine applications and they have like I explained they have been derived uh, from alpha viruses the sequences for replication machinery for example Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus 
some leaky forest virus or syndvis virus. These saRNA constructs contain four non-structural proteins, subgenomic promoter, and the gene of interest. So this gene of interest basically replaces the viral structural components. Okay. So by deleting the viral structural components, the RNA is incapable of producing uh, infectious virus. So basically, you know what 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 is it actually? So if you say that this is a viral sequence, and these are non-structural proteins and these are structural proteins of the virus. So then what is done uh, when, we, when we make the construct for self-replicating RNA, we actually delete these structural proteins and in place of structural proteins, we replace it with our gene of interest, okay? We replace it with our gene of interest. So then we get the self-amplifying RNA construct like this. So here we have non-structural proteins required for replication and here we have our gene of interest sequences for the gene of interest okay so uh, this is just the repetition after delivery to the cytoplasm non-structural proteins from, uh, from um, this replicase this is generally RNA polymerase and it replicates both genomic RNA and subgenomic RNA that is um, our gene of interest. Each of the four non-structural proteins, they play important role in the formation of replication machinery, which is a complex and it is a multi-stage process. This replication is what leads to the higher expression uh, than non-replicating mRNA. So the major advantage is with self-replicating RNA, with low dose, we produce higher amounts of protein. And uh, we don't require higher dose of uh, initial higher dose. We just with the low dose we can achieve a uh, higher dose of protein. Okay, this is the major advantage of self using self replicating RNA over mRNA. I hope guys this video was helpful. Please like and share the video and subscribe our channel to support us. Thank you very much.